Zombie RVs and homeless issues. Portland is holding its first RV disposal day this weekend. And Coin wants to know where exactly all those RVs will end up. We want to turn now to our Lisa Balick, who's live in Northwest Portland with an inside look. Lisa? Yeah, this is actually where all those abandoned RVs end up before they head to the crusher. Today, we got for the first time a look inside these gates to take a look at what they're getting off the streets. Take a look. Almost 100 RVs, small, large, extra large, including abandoned school buses, even mobile dwellings people have been using to live in all towed off city streets. Now it's costing the city about $1,500 per vehicle to tow each one, clean it, strip it down, and then take it to a metal crusher. We want to take you inside one of them, typical of what city crews see inside. I want you to keep in mind they had already cleared out a truck full of stuff from inside this one. As a way to keep ones like these off the street, the city is holding a free RV turn-in day. That's this Sunday at Portland International Raceway from 8 to 4. Couple of rules. You have to have a title to the vehicle to prove it's yours. It has to be cleaned out, the tanks and everything, and you have to be a city of Portland resident. So far, only 15 people have signed up online to get rid of their RV on Sunday. The point of it was really to measure demand how many folks out in the community really needed this program, and then to try to determine what the barriers are to folks getting them to a demolisher. Now, the city was expecting perhaps up to 25. It'll cost the city about $1,500 per vehicle to tow them out here, clean them, and get them crushed. So far this year, more than 200 abandoned or hazardous lived in RVs have been towed off city streets. Again, that event is coming up this Sunday. You can still sign up if you want to get rid of an RV on the Portland Bureau of Transportation website. Again, it's free. You just make sure you have to have that title. Live in Northwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.